Hello and welcome to the Rutherford Report in 2018. Coming up on today's edition, we report back from the recent hospitality and retail business breakfast, and an update on Cambodia fundraising, and sports and arts news. Hello and welcome to the January edition of the Rutherford Report. We're here to give you a roundup of recent news and events in Mark Rutherford School. First, on Wednesday the 13th of December, we hosted a Faraday Engineering Challenge which involved teams of Year 8 students from our school and Auburn Academy. Students had to design and build a structure following strict guidelines as this is a national competition. The day resulted in one of our teams winning gaining a lovely trophy and a £10 of Amazon vouchers each. All participants had a great day. Also, we have to congratulate the Greece team for a fantastic run in December. Brilliant performances by all involved, including dancers, singers and actors, but let's not forget the hard work of those behind the scenes too, who worked endlessly to put the show together, including the staff, stage crew and technical crew. Let's see what's happened at the recent hospitality and retail business breakfast. This month's breakfast meeting was focused on the sectors of hospitality and retail. We invited a number of businesses in the hospitality sector, such as hotels, and also in the retail sector. We also invited a number of students who were studying uh, or who are studying travel and tourism and business studies and food tech as well. We had about 30, 30, 40 students and six or eight businesses coming along and the students were able to meet the businesses on rotation so they would go round from business to business to get some idea of how the business worked and what training was required for that business and one student was in fact even inspired to head over to the Swan Hotel uh, later on with her CV to hand in her CV for waitressing positions uh, because she said the morning had really cemented her uh, interest in the hospitality sector. On the 12th of December, some of our Year 9s went to the University of Bedfordshire to complete sessions on measuring fitness. We thank the University. All students involved thoroughly enjoyed the day. Let's have an update on the fundraising events for the Cambodia trip. So, fundraising for Cambodia, we've recently had our Cambodia Comedy Night which we had last Friday. Uh, we had 115 uh, people turning up, um, paying some money for that, and we managed to raise around about 800 pounds, uh, so 800 pounds profit that we raised for that, which was really good, so thank you so much everyone who came and supported that. We've also recently had two sets of teams down at Sainsbury's at Fairfield Park in Bedford doing bag packing. The December one, we raised about 800 pounds there, and the one that we did uh, a couple of months before that, we raised 1,200 pounds there. So lots of really good group fundraising targets. Thank you to everyone who has been putting their hands in their pockets to support us. We are here with our arts reporter to let us know all about the recent news. Ethan? Lots happening uh, with the arts in the school. A group of students have earned, national, have earned a national award for the work in the arts with the achievement of the Bronze Arts Award Medal. They have completed this challenge in their drama lessons. Congratulations to all who took part. We've also got some drawings of the week to show you. This great portrait by Keris. This abstract drawing by Sophie. And an interesting il illustration by Nicola. And also this painting by Haley. Thanks for the update Ethan, on to other news, we are the first school in the country to have its own planetarium. It will be used to support science and astronomy across Bedford as well as encouraging cross-curricular projects between departments. Thanks to the financial support from the STARS and the Harper Trust, it is being launched on the 31st January and there will be more news to follow. Let's keep up to date with some sports news. Hi I'm Mashin, here's this month's sports news. Year 7s and 8s took part in a cross-country of competition on January 16th. We had over 30 students taking part across four different races with everybody giving it their all. Some excellent individual performances including Eamon who finished in fifth in the year eight race and Riley who secured 18th position in the year seven race. The year nine basketball team secured a 22-21 win over Bindham on 30th of November. A great win, well played boys. We also have some sportsmen and sportswomen of the month. For Core, Megan B. For GCSE, Ailey, M. And an extracurricular, Poppy L. 
Now boys for Core, Riley C, GCC, Tommy K and Extra Curricular, Thomas B. Congratulations guys. I will see you next month for more sports news. Now back to the studio. Thank you for tuning in to this month's Rutherford Report. Please remember to follow at MRS Report on Twitter and RutherfordReport.com for more news. We'll see you next month. Goodbye. Bye.